For some reason, I've been seeing Hello Kitty stuff all over TikTok. Hello Kitty cakes to Hello Kitty macarons. But we're making these super cute Hello Kitty sugar cookies that I saw. I thought they were adorable. And we're also trying this cute toast art, bear-shaped pizza, and even more. I found these Hello Kitty cookie cutters on Amazon. Let's cut them out. I'm gonna do Hello Kitty first, of course. Whenever we had the Sanrio store in the mall, I always just bought Hello Kitty things. Notebooks, pencils, papers. And then the Sanrio store closed at my mall and I was was very sad. And then we just went to Claire's. <laughs> and build a bear. <laughs> Will this baking stone make my cookies smell like vegetables? She's so cute. Look at Hello Kitty. Perfect. Get it? Cause she's a cat. Cinema roll. He looks like Grogu. He does look like Grogu a little bit. Time to put these babies in the oven. Well, they kind of grew to be bigger than I expected, but that's okay. They're still really cute. I am not using royal icing because you guys know I like to make cakes and I was practicing making my sister's wedding cake. I have a huge tub of buttercream that I made. Of course, we have to start with Hello Kitty first. This is definitely a trust the process moment. She's coming together. I always loved when she had her pink bow instead of the red bow. Okay, so I think She's gonna be a furry Hello Kitty. She's looking so cute so far. <gasps> She's too cute to eat. Let's give you some friends. That reminded me that I have not eaten today. Look at them. We've got Pachaco, Karomi. Bad Batsumaru, My Melody, Pom Pom Purin, he's so cute, the little gun retriever, Cinema Roll, Karopi, and of course, Hello Kitty. I can't eat them, oh my goodness. My two favorite are Hello Kitty and little Pom Pom Purin, mostly because I want a golden retriever so bad. My Melody. She does taste really good. Also definitely a fan of the buttercream on cookies. I just ate her ears. If I've learned anything from TikTok, there is no limit to any food that you can't make cute. Exhibit A, the super cute toast. The little bears, the details of the face. And then they also made a Hello Kitty one. I just thought it was too adorable not to make. Toaster. By the way, my toaster, um, is broken. I don't know what happened to it. I bought the fancy toaster. See, it just pops right back up. What the heck? Are you kidding me? All right, I think they're ready now. Goodbye, toaster that doesn't work. All right, let's start with our sun butter. Gotta alternate with the Nutella. Honestly, if you are like rushed in the mornings, this is really not practical for you. All right, there we go. Place the little bananas. Okay, now how do they make those little banana balls? You just mush them up with our hands. The ears might just not be perfect balls, but we're doing the best we can. That's good enough, right? Okay, that one looks good. Things I didn't know existed or thought I would really ever do. Toast art. So I was able to like roll this into like a little ball for the eyes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't even know what that looks like, but it's not a bear. Let's try to make the eyes smaller this time. That eye is a little better. They're like ugly cute. Maybe we can do better on the Hello Kitty toast. So on this TikTok, they used the back of a spoon, which might have been my first mistake. Strawberry jam. Cream cheese. If you're at home, guys, spending your free time making cute toast like me, use the back of a spoon. I mean, just look at the bears. It's, mm-hmm. All right, here's the plan. I'm gonna get a little tiny piece of parchment paper. Get some little dots of black going here. Then I'm going to use a toothpick to be more precise. So right now they look like little ghosts with spiders crawling out of them, but cute toast is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Time for her bow. Wait, the bow is cute. Look at the bow. Good job, M.A. Just practice your whiskers. This is like an abstract Hello Kitty. She kind of cute. You ever see something on TikTok or Instagram or Pinterest and you think that's easy. And then you just did not, you didn't do it right. But uh, you had a good time trying. Let's toast to toast. Banana, Nutella, peanut butter, whatever. You can't go wrong with peanut butter, Nutella, banana. I feel like that's just a classic. All right, little Hello Kitty. Mmm, it's like a strawberry cheesecake, strawberry shortcake, whatever in your mouth and it's really good. I'm gonna make you cute toast every morning. We'll both know you're not doing that. <laughs> so TikTok showed me this kawaii candy rainbow bark and anything that's pink, rainbow, and candy, and chocolate, you can count me in. I was also really excited about this TikTok because it looked super easy. But then again, I thought the toast was gonna be really easy and well, we see how that went. 
Step one, melt the white chocolate. Oh my gosh, look how luscious and smooth. All right, now we separate some. In goes pink. It's so swirly and pretty. White chocolate on the parchment paper. Now for the pink. We'll just swirl some together. I got cute little pink watermelons. You can really use whatever candy you want. And I think that's the beauty. I got some giggles. Oh, kind of crunchy. So they definitely taste like Skittles. If you have allergies, mm, this is good. You gotta hurry because our chocolate is getting hard. You gotta move quick. Be like a cat, like a Hello Kitty. Now I'm using more white chocolate and of course, sprinkles. That is so cute. All right, now we put it in the freezer. Watermelon candy for lunch. I got it on my tooth. Did I just break a nail? Guys, look how cute. I love the colors. Let's try some. Mmm, I really wasn't expecting it to be that good, but it is. I really like the white chocolate with the gummies and the giggles. <laughs> I felt so silly saying that because they're called giggles. That's such a strange word. Giggle. I've seen all kinds of different mochi on TikTok, but I've come across the part of TikTok where mochi is made it into like pigs and cats and even seals, like cute little animals. And I was like, and she made this one look so easy to do. Hopefully it is actually easy. Oh no, she has the toothpick. I didn't try to take the time to make my own mochi and I bought it at Target. What the heck? Look at the picture, smooth. Now look at these, not smooth. Oh, this one, this one's not bad. I just wanna like, <clears throat> so let's make the cute little ears. Oh. Okay, now that I'm kind of looking at these ears, they do kind of look like a little pig. It's okay. Make the little eyes. Shoot, I messed it up. The little mouth goes like right in between the eyes. <laughs> it looks like an old man. It looks like a pig cat. It looks like a pig cat. Man, how do people make these whiskers look like whiskers? What the heck? Now the ear fell off on my thumb. Okay, giving me hippo vibes. We're just making all the different characters. This time I'm making a pig. Give the pig some eyes, nose. Yay! Okay, this one actually turned out kind of cute. We'll name her Miss Piggy. So we've got little Miss Piggy who turned out cute. We got our first little kitty cat. What should we name her? Mm, kitty. This is supposed to be a cat. It looks like a, I don't know. We'll name her Sadness. This one is also a pig. We'll name him Mr. Piggy. So let's put Mr. Piggy with Miss Piggy. Okay, I'm going to eat her. Mmm, I've never had mochi before and this ice cream mochi is so good. Oh my gosh, maybe I should try to make my own. This is the cutest pizza I think I've ever seen. It is shaped like a bear and it is one of the main reasons why I wanted to do this whole video in the first place. I've never seen a pizza look cute. Like usually pizza just looks like pizza. Except for I've made a heart shaped pizza before. Someone commented and said, I thought it was a frog screaming for a second. All right, let's just get our dough out and shape it into a little bear pizza. This is actually like really fun. Squishing the dough. We made a big old mama bear. Should I have made it smaller? Maybe. Does it look like a bear? Yeah. And right, now we need to put the bear in the oven to bake the crust before we put all the stuff on top. Oh yay, our bear is ready for his toppings. Time for the tomato sauce. Every single Friday night, me and my husband have Friday night pizza night. I might start making some brown bear pizza. It's impossible to open. There you go. <gasps> you got it. Yes. Already broke a nail. Couldn't break another one. My job one. is done. Okay, so to make the little mouth, they put like a little bitty piece of cheese right at the top. What other animals could you do? <gasps> Cat, maybe a dog with like big floppy ears. They didn't put cheese on the little ears. I definitely want to put cheese on my little ears. What's his name? Mm, Barry. Barry, good pizza. We'll see. This bear is already looking so cute and we're gonna add the face when he comes back out of the oven. Ooh, yay. Time for the face. The TikTok girl used chocolate and I'm not about to melt chocolate to put on my bear and then have just leftover melted chocolate. So I'm just gonna use the black buttercream that we have. Oh, you know what I didn't think about? Buttercream melting. Oh, <gasps> look at that! This is literally too cute to eat. Like it does just kind of make me sad that I have to eat him. I spent all this time making things that look so cute and adorable and then I just have to devour them because this is our dinner. Oh. Sorry, Barry. Hope it doesn't burn my mouth. It's cute and it tastes good. Be sure to check out my other videos where I test fun and cute viral TikTok recipes. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.